for you as somebody, a Jew who escaped Nazi yes. Germany, this must be, it's a weighty charge to, to, to accuse Israel of genocide. It, it's a terrible thing to accuse anyone uh, of genocide, but it's a more terrible thing that genocide should take place. In my view, Jews are only going to be safe uh, if everyone's rights are respected and the rights of Jews are respected along with the rights of everyone else. Orang tersebut merupakan salah satu tokoh terpenting di dunia saat ini, terutama di Amerika Serikat. Dulunya, ia adalah orang yang paling membela Israel, namun pemikirannya kini berubah dan mengatakan bahwa Israel tengah melakukan genosida. Ia adalah Eryeh Neir, yakni seorang Yahudi berusia 87 tahun yang selamat dari pembantaian Nazi, Jerman. Ia juga merupakan pendiri Human Rights Watch, sebuah lembaga organisasi pembela hak asasi manusia paling terkenal di Amerika Serikat. Beberapa waktu lalu, wawancaranya di CNN, ia menjelaskan kepada dunia tentang kenapa kini ia berubah pikiran dan menyatakan bahwa Israel memang benar sedang melakukan genosida di Gaza, Palestina. You have concluded that Israel is guilty of attempting genocide. Yes. That's a very heavy charge. Yes. What is the principal reason you say that? Well, first let me say that when the South African case charging genocide was initially brought, I was not one of those who endorsed South Africa's argument of genocide. I didn't endorse it because I thought Israel had a right to retaliate against Hamas, and I thought Israel had a right to try to incapacitate Hamas so that it would never be able to do anything like that again. Uh, but I was disturbed by some of the actions of Israel, by the use of very large weapons, uh, 2,000 pound bombs, which are utterly inappropriate in a crowded urban area. A bomb like that can kill somebody two football fields away, and using bombs like that was inappropriate in the context of Gaza. But still, I didn't think that Israel was engaged in genocide just because of the effort to retaliate against Hamas, even though I thought Israel went far overboard in the way of its uh, retaliation. So what changed your mind? What changed my mind was that over a period of time, uh, Israel has obstructed the delivery of humanitarian assistance to uh, Gaza. And those who have been most severely victimized are not the members of Hamas, Men with guns ordinarily find a way to, uh, to get food and to get fed, but it is young children who are most severely damaged by malnutrition and who will either starve to death or if they survive, uh, they will be diminished uh, for the rest of their lives, diminished physically and psychologically by the severe malnutrition they are enduring as children. And I thought that severe obstruction of the delivery of humanitarian assistance amounted to genocide. Arya Neir juga menyebutkan bukti-bukti kekejaman Israel yang menciptakan krisis kemanusiaan serta bencana kelaparan kepada rakyat Palestina. The amount of uh, food and the amount of water and the amount of fuel they have allowed in is entirely inadequate to deal with the two million, more than two million people who live in Gaza. And uh, the USAID administrator, Samantha Power, testified before Congress that famine had set in in Gaza, the head of the UN Uh, World Food Program has said that uh, full-blown famine uh, is underway uh, in Gaza. Um, destroying the farms, destroying the greenhouses in Gaza, um, killing a large number of aid workers who were involved in the distribution of food, uh, challenging the ability of the UN agency that has been principally involved in distributing food to continue that activity and persuading the United States and other governments to cut off funds uh, from that agency. All those things have had a cumulative impact on the availability of food and water and electricity and medical supplies uh, in Gaza. 
Beberapa waktu lalu juga sempat beredar video tentang adanya bantuan mie instan produk Indonesia yang terlihat dihancurkan oleh sekelompok sayap kanan Israel. Dalam hal ini, Arihan Nair juga menjelaskan bahwa hal tersebut adalah sebuah sabotase atau gangguan yang sengaja dilakukan oleh pemukim Israel kepada truk-truk pembawa bantuan kemanusiaan ke Gaza. At this moment, uh, there are uh, settlers in the West Bank area who are interrupting trucks, uh, taking humanitarian assistance into uh, to Gaza. They are attacking the truck driver, spilling the uh, contents of uh, trucks carrying humanitarian aid. The Israeli military the defense forces have not intervened in order to prevent the settlers from engaging in sabotage of that sort in delivering humanitarian assistance. The, uh, internet, the Israeli defense forces have aided the settlers and a very large number of Palestinians in the West Bank have been killed in the past few months, uh, often with the Israel defense forces either standing by or directly participating in attacks on Palestinians uh, in that area. Ari Yehner juga ditanya mengenai Netanyahu yang menuduh kepala jaksa ICC telah melakukan antisemit atau kebencian kepada Yahudi. Menurutnya, tuduhan Netanyahu tersebut tidak masuk akal. The use of the uh, term antisemitism uh, to attack those who criticize Israeli policies uh, degrades the, uh, the concept of antisemitism. Antisemitism has been a great scourge. Uh, but it doesn't insulate the Israeli government from being held to the same standards that other governments have to be held to around the world. Uh, it is, the Israeli government has been very comfortable with certain anti-Semites. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, for example, has cultivated a relationship with Viktor Orban, the Prime Minister of Hungary, and I think it's appropriate to consider Orban an anti-Semite. Uh, but um, to charge the International Criminal Court with anti-Semitism is, is, I think, absurd. For you, as somebody, a Jew who escaped Nazi yes. Germany, this must be, it's a weighty charge to, to, to accuse Israel of genocide. It, it's a terrible thing to accuse anyone uh, of genocide, but it's a more terrible thing that genocide should take place. In my view, Jews are only going to be safe Uh, if everyone's rights are respected and the rights of Jews are respected along with the rights of everyone else. Sahabat aswaja, pengakuan Eri Hanner dalam wawancara di CNN tersebut tentunya mengejutkan banyak orang, terutama bagi masyarakat barat yang pro Israel sebab ia merupakan orang Yahudi yang selamat dari pembantaian Nazi dan juga merupakan tokoh penting dalam hak asasi manusia yang pada awalnya ia sangat membela Israel Kini dirinya telah sadar bahwa Israel tengah melakukan genosida terhadap rakyat Palestina. Lalu bagaimana menurut kalian sahabat aswaja? Apakah di Indonesia ini masih ada orang yang bersikeras membela Israel? Mungkin video ini dapat menyadarkannya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.